Vocation Involvement Classification What is a vocation? It is an anatomical area of a multi-rooted teeth where roots diverge. It is a critical area as it has a complex anatomy. It is difficult for the patient to clean as well as it is difficult for the operator to debride using periodontal instruments. So what is vocation involvement? Invasion of bifurcation and trifurcation of multi-rooted teeth by periodontal disease is called vocation involvement. It is associated with bone loss and clinical attachment loss. It may be clinically visible or covered by the pocket wall. Vocation involvement can be assessed by using a neighbor's probe. Coming to the anatomy of vocation, a tooth has a root trunk and the roots show the presence of divergence. The fornix or roof of the furcation entrance is right beneath the roof of the furcation and furcation entrance is the area right apical to the roof of the furcation. So what is the need for classification of furcation? It is important for diagnosis, prognosis, treatment planning and also communication between clinicians and researchers. So what are the basis of classification? The extension of the defect and the degree of horizontal or vertical attachment loss. So horizontal attachment loss and vertical attachment loss can be considered to give classification. Glickman's classification of furcation involvement. It is used to describe the extension and the main characteristics of the furcation defect. These are divided into four grades. Grade 1, which is called as incipient stage. Grade 2, also called as cul -de -sac. Grade 3 is a through and through furcation and grade 4 is through and through with clinically visible furcation. Grade 1 is clinically seen as an incipient or early stage involvement. There is a presence of supra bony pocket which only affects the soft tissues. Early bone loss may be occurring but the interradicular bone is intact. Radiographically you may not see any significant radiographic change. Whereas in grade 2 furcation involvement which is called as a cul de sac as it has a definite horizontal component, it does not extend to other side of the furcation. Vertical bone loss may be present and it can affect one or more furcations of the same tooth. Radiographically, grade 2 furcation is seen as the presence of furcation arrows. It is difficult to predict in the maxillary molars. Grade 3 furcation, in this case, the bone is not attached to the dome of the furcation. The soft tissue may fill the furcation entrance and clinically it may or may not be visible. But when you calculate the buccal and the lingual horizontal probing depths, it will be more than the total buccolingual tooth dimension. Radiographically, it is seen as a definite radiolucent area in the furcation zone. Grade 4 is a complex condition where complete bone loss of the interdental tissue is seen. Soft tissue recession is seen apically and furcation is visible to the eye. There is presence of tunnel and probes pass through and through. Coming to the Hamp, Neiman and Linde's classification, which measures the horizontal attachment loss. It is divided into three degrees. Degree 1, where the horizontal bone loss of periodontal tissue support is less than 3 mm. Degree 2, where the horizontal loss of more than 3 mm is seen, but non involving the total width of the furcation. And grade 3, it's a through and through horizontal destruction of the periodontal tissue in the furcation area. Coming to the Tarnum and Fletcher's classification, this is based upon the vertical component of the furcation involvement. It is an elaboration of the previous classification, which measures the vertical bone loss from the roof of the furcation in an apical direction. So it's divided into subclass A, B and C. Subclass A has about 0 to 3 mm of probable depth from the roof of the furcation to the apical direction. Subclass B has 4 to 6 mm of probable depth from the roof of the furcation, whereas subclass C has more than 6 mm of probable depth from the roof of the furcation. This helps in defining the prognosis and restorability of the tooth. So furcation involvement can thus be classified on horizontal and vertical component as grade 1A, 1B, 1C, grade 2A, 2B, 2C 
and grade 3a, 3b and 3c where 1, 2 or 3 represents the horizontal loss and a, b, c represents the vertical loss also divided into subclasses. This helps in prognosis. Example, class 3a will have a better prognosis than class 2c. This is because class 3a has a more vertical osseous support and class 3 has a more vertical bone loss. So to summarize, Furcation involvement is the invasion of bifurcation and trifurcation of multi-rooted teeth by periodontal disease. The assessment is done by neighbor's probe. Clickman gave a classification of furcation involvement into four grades, grade 1, 2, 3 and 4, which describes the extension and main characteristics of the furcation defect. Hamp, Nyman and Linde gave classification of furcation involvement into three degrees, degree 1, 2 and 3, which measures the horizontal attachment loss. Tarnow and Fletcher gave a classification into subclass A, B and C which is based on the vertical component of the furcation. You can find link to the MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for update on new videos.